Hey y'all. Today's set is from Romans 3 verses 27 through 31. And in the text, there are three separate groups, which normally would be three days, but I feel like these are too important of ideas to do as three separate days. So let's dig in. So where does that leave our proud Jewish insider claims and counterclaims? Cancelled? Yes, cancelled. What we've learned is this. God does not respond to what we do. We respond to what God does. We finally figured it out. Our lives get in step with God and all others by letting him set the pace, not by proudly or anxiously trying to run the parade. And where does that leave our proud Jewish claims of having the corner on God? Also cancel. God is the God of outsider non-Jews as well as insider Jews. How his action, how could it be otherwise since there is only one God? God sets right all who welcome his actions and enter into it both those who follow our religious systems and those who've never heard of our religion. But by shifting our focus from what we do to what God does, don't we cancel out all our powerful keeping of the rules and the ways God commanded? Not at all. What happens, in fact, is that by putting that entire way of life in its proper place, we confirm it. And it strikes me that, you know, you could replace the word Jewish with Christian here and not miss a beat, especially after 2,000 plus years of history, or near 2,000 years of history. You know, we have a great deal of fighting over religious ideas rather than relationship. There's only the one God, the Lord of all creation, his son Yeshua, the Christ, Jesus, the Messiah, died for us. Died for all of us. So, God, you know, it says right there, God sets right all who welcome his actions and enter into it, both those who follow our religious systems and those who have never heard of our religion. And it strikes me that going throughout this entire verse, the idea that religion will save is gotten rid of entirely. Jesus saved religion has a purpose, yes, but it's not the focus. You know, by putting the entire way of life in its proper place, it's confirmed. The understanding of the relationship, what is written in the text, in scriptures, both the Tanakh and in the New Testament, they're confirmed by the relationship. Jeremiah and Ezekiel are confirmed when they say that the only way forward is for God to replace the stone heart with one of flesh, for his commandments to be written on our heart. So, in all form, by putting the religion aside in its proper place, not as the focus, but as a connection point to interact with more people. Leave the religion aspects, the ritual, and walk with God. Because all of Christendom understands communion, baptism, and accepting Jesus as your Savior. At the very least, communion and baptism. And if those are the two kind of rituals that we see, then anything else seems superfluous compared to the relationship that's there. And that's not to say that I am against religious leaders. I'm honestly just against an, any religious leader that would promote focusing on a religion over focusing on relationships. Be it statism or any other ism. Because isms are, well, honestly, a great way to build walls not destroy them. And if we're all one creation, created by one God, then fighting each other in any form is the largest version of sibling rivalry ever. You know, the religious system that tries to divide and separate has no purpose or place at all. We are all one body. One people, I should say, the body of Christ, one body that should be lighting the way in love. 
that it should be about the grace he shows us. And so these verses to me scream that when we focus not on religion, but on relationship with him, everything comes into alignment. When we do it his way, letting him set the pace, not proudly, not anxiously trying to do it our way, not trying to say, oh, it's my way and I want Jesus to, do, you know, Jesus is not a genie. He's our Messiah. And it's needing to let him set the pace. He's in the driver's seat. We're not. You know, God sets right all who welcome his action and enter into it. So the entire core, which kind of funny for me is actually going from kind of the middle verses of each, is the entire idea is that when we let him set the pace, when we welcome him doing it his way, everything else is set right. And if we could do it on our own, we would have by now. At least for the argument of, you know, if human beings can do better, then why don't we? If we could do better on our own, why don't we? It's because of the heart. And just at the end there, it's confirmed. Jeremiah, Ezekiel, so many other examples. God writes his law on the heart, and you live by God's law. Those who don't know of the religious style and those who do, just like in the previous verses. Those who follow his way on inst more or less on instinct show that it's not a need to have your arm broken to do it. So I beseech everyone, don't focus on the religion of it. Don't focus on being Jewish insiders or Christian insiders or outsiders or any of that. Because it's about relationship. And in that regard, you either have one or you don't. That's where the binary comes in. It's you either have a relationship or you don't. The state of the thing is the thing. You know, if it's a bad relationship, well, you still have a relationship and there's ways to improve. If you don't have a relationship, then you can get one. Cry out to him. That's, that's all I beseech. His way. Yahweh's way. Jesus leading the way. And the rest of us pointing to our king. Well, here's looking forward to tomorrow when we start Romans 4. See you guys then.